welcome back to another video this is just gonna be a weekend vlog my name is Lauren if you guys are new it's currently Friday morning at 11 20 and I'm heading off to laser which I am just so excited about honestly I love where I go but I do not like going today I'm getting my legs and my underarms done I haven't gone in a while so I'm just dreading it I'm also like three days into my cycle and it hurts worse if you're near your period so I actually took two Advil which I don't love but I was like I need a good session because I also haven't gone in like two months so if I'm going like super consistently sometimes she'll like tone it down and it won't hurt as bad but I know she's going to want to do it like a little bit higher today and I was like I can't I can't do that today I've had a cold for two weeks I had a pretty rough cycle I don't know if it was from traveling or what but I'm like this needs to go as smoothly as possible I'm going to laser and then Ben's done at like 3 30 today we don't really have plans this weekend tomorrow it's supposed to be super rainy um so we're probably gonna cook and hang out I have some content to plan I want to start like two different recipe series on Instagram that I want to plan out and then I also have some website work that I might push till Monday but I was supposed to do it yesterday and we lost wi-fi all day so I wasn't able to do any of it This lighting's kind of funky because the sun is obviously coming through the window and bouncing off the mirror and hitting me in the face and that's the only reason that you guys can see me but I just finished a little coffee while well, I'm finishing a coffee. I don't really drink coffee before laser so I don't really have a coffee today. I say that it hurts worse if you drink coffee and I do think that's partially true. I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but anything to make laser not hurt as bad, I will do. But we are about to go do a little Friday date evening. It's only 3.30, but it's still light out and Ben's done. So we're like, let's just go do something. So we're going to go to a golf simulator, which is actually really fun. You like, well, you guys will see. It's like a big screen. I think we're going to get poke for dinner. Um, but we will see. We might be craving something hot instead because it's a pretty cold day here. Now we're on the other side of the bathroom. I really need to get, um, it's like a suction shelf. What is happening in here? That I can put on the window and then that way it's like an actual shelf here because if you're down here, that just doesn't work. I'm gonna wash my face because I just don't like to put makeup on makeup. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put some makeup back on. Fresh face. Do we have the sun anywhere? Or is the sun just like gone? We're running out of sun. Moisturizer. That's the other reason I love that moisturizer is because it just goes under makeup really nicely. The makeup artist I used for my wedding actually let me use that as primer instead of hers because I was worried that I could, that my skin could react to it. This is supposed to be concealer, but it doesn't really, it works more as like foundation for me because it's like my skin color. This is the best concealer foundation, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever used. I do have, this is their actual foundation. It's Luminous Silk Flawless Foundation. And I got this stuff for my wedding weekend. Um, I actually didn't end up using it because I was scared of how my face would react and I totally wish I would have used it because it works so well. Be careful to not bump that. Okay. This is even like, <laughs> like a little bit dark for my face right now, which is crazy because this was like a light concealer for me because <laughs> I was super tan. Um, so that's sad. I've been using this bronzer a little bit differently recently because I'm so pale so I've been putting it on my face as if I was getting hit by the sun instead of doing like regular contouring I'm doing it to look more tan so I do it up there and then I've been doing it on the bridge of my nose and then almost like where you would put blush which I know is kind of weird but it makes me look tan and like sometimes I'll do it down there but I don't really care that much tonight so we're just gonna leave it there brush it on I care more about looking tan than I do about having a uh, defined jawline. So, looks like I got tan. Yeah, see? That's good. Which blush? I can never decide. Merit, which I have in Stockholm. Is that the color? That's the weirdest color. Or the one that I always use. I think I'm going to do both. I love mixing these because the Merit one's more rosy and this one's more peachy. I just like mixing them. And again, I kind of put it like on the top of my 
cheap them. That's where the sun would hit. And then anything extra, I'll like dab my nose. My three-year-old eyebrow gel, if you watched my video with Kendra, you know what I'm talking about. But it works just fine, so. Final step is the Laura Mercier setting powder. I wish I had the translucent one. I have a tinted one because that's all they had the day that I bought it. And I needed it for my bachelorette trip like immediately because we went to Cape Cod and it was going to be so humid. So I needed it. But I wish I would have ordered it ahead of time and gotten the translucent one. But this stuff really does wonders. And I just pat it right on in. I don't wait for it to set, I guess would be the word. So that is the extent of the makeup outside of probably a little lip gloss or like Vaseline realistically that I will put on my lips. What is it? What should I wear? Pick on my outfit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's gotta be warm, comfy, cute, but also movable because why? we're swinging golf gloves. Why is this so out of focus? I also have this little rack out here, so don't hesitate to oh, visit the rack. Oh, you're encouraging me to go out here, huh? Rack. That's it. It's my fall stuff. These are possibilities. Not this is really nice, but I don't think you want to golf in that, huh? I would golf in that. Okay, let's set those down. Yeah, we have to get okay. pants. Let's get some Los Pantalones. Well, I'm thinking those. I'm thinking maybe a lighter pants or maybe a dark wash jean. Honestly, these top three aren't bad choices. Do any of these fit you okay? Um, the second one won't work because they need wash because they like just need a re a reset in the wash. Okay, what jean is what is this wearable. would be good. All right. Either of these. Okay, this I think is out. Would that work? <laughs> um, that'd be hot. That'd be hot. But then yeah. you can take this off. Oh, no, you can't. It's not a full set. Okay, so then... So what do you think about this? Nope, nope. No, it doesn't have enough contrast. I, I know, but I like, I like whites piece. and creams. You're just a big piece of beige. Let's try it on. Wait. If you're gonna go large... If you're gonna go... Well, cream school's orange, huh? Yeah. If you're gonna go tan and white together... You have to have a pop of color, and so therefore I nominate this. I don't hate the shoe and pant combo. I feel like it requires like a graphic sweatshirt, not a cute sweater. I changed it up a little. I tucked into my bra realistically, I'll probably untuck it. <laughs> and then this white scarf that I always get compliments on. It's from Target like last year, two years ago, the green pants because they're just more my size and I don't feel as like sloppy because they're like not as baggy and my Nikes which really use a new pair of soon they're kind of getting ratty but they work for now Saturday. It's the next day. It's the afternoon. Is it? <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> my thing's on my phone. I think it's like one. So yeah. happy afternoon. But we're currently, or what do you say for an afternoon? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good happy afternoon. afternoon. We're currently um, on an apartment search. So if it's we, then it needs to be we. We looked at this apartment last week and we like it. Um, we came to the conclusion after seeing it that we're very torn on whether or not we should move and we were kind of just going to wait and see if Ben's allergies got bad because if his allergies are bad at the house, like we have to leave our house. It's just like that bad. Which they are got getting bad. bad yeah. yeah, they came back. So we're in apartment hunting phase because we just, long story short, we're, we don't want to buy right now. If we really found like the perfect place, we would, Maybe. but it's just like... It's a lot for right now. We it just had a wedding. Right We'd have to find our first Yeah, we just want to like, I don't know, like, we want to feel more ready. So we are happy to rent for another year, but we're like, let's take a step back. We're going to probably put a ton of stuff in storage 
drop our rent because right now our rent's really expensive and just like save a ton of money and live like a very kind of like simple almost like minimalistic life for a year in an apartment our which version of minimalistic. honestly sounds great for some reason we're back at the same apartment that we looked at earlier this week because we want to measure some stuff <laughs> and um to see it again location is not the most ideal especially no. because our location right now is so good and it's hard to give right. it up but the apartment itself is super cool i'll film the a couple does. clips and then if we are like still kind of meh eh, because of the location if i if we could pick this up and put it somewhere it's not like a bad location it's not a dangerous location it's nothing like that it's not like just, a dirty location at all there's not really that around here it's just the immediate surrounding area feels like we're kind of in a park we're literally lot. behind hobby lobby like yeah, we're behind we businesses are right behind hobby lobby and like a bookstore and and you like see the back of them it's just not yeah we're being picky so the thing is like the dilemma is that a lot of complexes don't have that many three bedroom um units so it's like hard to find a three bedroom unit that you need at the right time that's in the right location of the complex and like we have to keep lighting in mind and like natural light in mind because we both film so much at home so like that's a huge factor and this place actually checks those boxes which is good but the location okay it's so, windy so right? yeah and the weather's like super bad today Sorry. so we don't really have anything to do so we're gonna go check out this apartment again and just sure. just see it again. day took a, a turn, turn of events um, we had a turn of events it is 3 30 and we randomly looked at a different apartment complex because we're like we have nothing to do today we might as well like go look at another place or two that interests us there was one that we almost moved into years ago ironically that do you even want to look look at what am i on the camera Our him oh um what? there's Maybe still another one that. that we may look at but we looked at this one that i had seen multiple times recently but kind of just like threw out the window because again it's in like a weird location but we were like let's just go look at it and it is in kind of a funky location but it's right by the road to the beach for one and two it's like very much tucked away and very yeah. quiet and very peaceful and the unit that we ended up applying for um is right by a pond and like their amenities were so nice like seen. we have looked at so many apartment complexes here in delray like south florida in general so many apartment complexes i love looking at apartment complexes and this was by far like the amenities were so nice the pools Luxurious. they had like they have a resort pool and a lap pool, which I think is so cool. The gym was beautiful. Like, everything was just so nice. So, we ended up applying um, because, like, the unit that we wanted was available because it's a new complex. I'm going to go back tomorrow and see it when it's sunny to make sure, like, the sun comes around how we would want it to. We are now getting poke. We are at Pipeline Poke. I did a poll on my Instagram last night asking you guys like what you want to see more of and so many of you guys said um, Wilmington content and like where we go and places we eat and just like Wilmington writes about content in general so this is the best poke it's called Pipeline Poke the owner is from Hawaii and our friends that live in Hawaii came here and said it's like the real deal so we get poke and then I think we might order a pizza tonight because we've never had pizza in Wilmington and we're gonna give it a go Can we just find where we're gonna live? Every single one after this. Okay, mine looks kind of weird, but it's the one I always get. It's the Green Machine. It has like wasabi, and they have like the crunchy, what's it called? Furiyaki or something? It's like the Hawaiian crunchy top, which we had in Hawaii and I've never seen it since, and it's so good. And then Ben got like a, yeah, like a traditional poke. It has like, Wasabi aioli and lots of wasabi. It's the only downside in this one. Circle sausages, <laughs> not crumbles. It's okay. Meat flop. 
Give me your best Dave Portnoy right now. I don't really watch them. Like, Good, I that'll make it even better. Flop test. One bite, everybody knows the rules. One bite, everybody knows the rules. First, you check the flop oh, heavy, <laughs> heavy flop. <laughs> broken? Oh, wow, okay. Let me try another. That's why, that's why they have the option. You, you just hold it up? You, well, you crisp it. You, uh, oh, you, you, I didn't do that. Oh, okay, yeah, split it down the middle. Yep. Oh, Still well, hefty flop. I think flop. it's broken. I don't think pizza can break. Oh. Yeah, that's bad, okay. Anyway, take a bite, tell me what you One think. One bite, everybody knows the rules. I have to put a sausage on the bite. Is there a first moment in pizza? Ever. Yeah, and PA has good pizza, so. Not PA. Yeah, I had a feeling. Told by multiple people that this is the best pizza in Wilmington. The dough is good, but needs well done. Next time we get it. Crispy. There's, I knew there's a reason why there was a button for well done. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good job. The next day, we are heading to the gym. I have this cute set on from Vitality. I used to not really like the Daydream sets. Like, they were my least favorite for a while when they first came out, and it's all I've been wearing recently, so I have a Daydream set on. I think I like them because with the V-cut, it stays up on my hips because I don't really have hips to keep things up, so this kind of, like, helps keep them up. We're going to the gym, and then we're going to look at that apartment again because... We're gonna actually walk through the unit that we like applied for. And I wanna see like how the lighting is midday because there's two sides that we can pick from. And then we have to go grocery shopping and then we're coming back to watch football because the Eagles play and the Steelers can make the playoffs if the right teams win. So we're gonna come back and watch football and just have a chill night. workout and we're going to look at that apartment but we needed something to eat we were both starving we were just like out of groceries today and neither of us had a good morning of eating and we both had like awful workouts because of it this was also my first workout back since I've gotten my cold so I haven't worked out in like two and a half weeks because it was Christmas and then I got my cold so Ben is getting drift coffee which like I said I'm gonna what are you beeping at? Car beeps at everything and always makes you feel like you're going to hit something. And sometimes it's good, but like, sometimes it's too much. But, like I said yesterday, I'm going to start mentioning more about like where we're going and places we like to go in Wilmington. Sorry if this sounds really bumpy. I want to drift. Is this making me go back out on the main street? Um, we're in Mayfair right now and Ben wanted Drift and I want clean juice because I love their avocado toast and Drift has avocado toast which is actually pretty good but I just love clean juices avocado toast and it's like a quarter mile but it's kind of confusing to drive around here. We ended up looking at another apartment yesterday. It was one that we almost moved to like five years ago um, which I like never talk about that but we almost moved to Wilmington at the start of 20. 21 is when it would have been and that's when everything happened with my mom But yeah, so then we ended up not moving because it was just a lot easier to stay put and also to be near friends Okay, lady. I really should be able to go but I think I think she's gonna go the light came only from the moon Before what I get there's clean juices like in a lot of places so if you have a clean juice near you I get the protein toast on gluten-free bread because you get two pieces of toast 
and then the protein toast just means it has the hard boiled egg and then I add pesto which is on the bottom so it's like so flavorful and so good and they use fresh avocado and it's all organic so all is good I'm gonna go pick up Ben <laughs> from right over there and we're gonna head to the apartment good Ben doesn't think clean juice is good it's not it's not but this is this is good no. and some what? of this some Take of this look at that that is a oh, good that is a lame avocado toast take a bite It's okay. You know it's good. I mean, compared to the burrito I just had, it's like, it's not bad. Like, how much was it? Nine dollars. See, I think that sucks for nine bucks. Actually, same time, nine bucks today. It's so good. It's yeah. all organic. That's that. Okay, that makes it more impressive. Why well, I just say it was definitely not organic. 